Oh, hi. Just caught me catching up with some admin in the office. <clears throat> I do quite a lot of uh, computer work, um, so I've got a bit of a good tip for you, actually. I used to find I used to get quite a bit of wrist pain because I was using the mouse a lot and having to keep my wrist at an angle and things like that. So what I found and what I went to buy was this, which basically is a vertical mouse. It's got the same mouse buttons, the same scroll wheel and things, but instead of having to hold your wrist like that, you can hold it like this. And I found it's made things a lot more comfortable. So if you're finding you're getting wrist pain from your mouse, then consider getting one of these things. As I say, about £10, really a good investment I've found. Anyway, welcome to my channel. If you're a regular viewer, then it's always great to see you again. Old friends are really good people. I hope you're going to continue to like the videos and share them with other people so they can get the benefit of them as well. If it's your first time here, then welcome. Always good to meet new people. Have a look around all the videos we've got. Like the videos. Subscribe so you know when new videos are coming out. And if you found them good, then please share them with other people so we can spread the information and spread the knowledge. Great. Well, today we're going to be looking at security cameras and smart doorbells and how they can help increase your home and office security. So let's get started. Well, smart doorbells and security cameras are a very helpful, effective security system. I'm sure most of us have seen smart doorbells now. They seem to be cropping up more and more and more. And that's because they're very useful and very effective. Now, some security cameras and some smart doorbells record locally. The benefit of that is you don't have to pay a subscription, but if you're on the cloud, then you can see what's going on on your phone, wherever you are, respond to it, and also set up uh, activities <coughs> that are triggered by some motion detection or something like that. Okay, so I personally, I think it's a good idea to go the cloud-based system, but then you are having to pay a subscription and that can go up whoever much, who knows. Well, let's look with door, start with doorbells. What you're looking for on doorbells really is <clears throat> good high definition so you can make out what's happening. You want a fairly wide coverage so you can get a lot of picture in. Ideally, you'd have some infrared to get decent nighttime coverage. And a lot of them now are two ways. So you can actually talk with somebody at the door and even see the video of them when they're there. And you can do that even when you're out because your phone or smartwatch rings. Okay. There's also motion detection so you can tell when something's going on. And some of them even these days are able to tell you there's a parcel being left at your door. So really quite handy. And it's a great idea to be able to check on it from your phone. Now, <clears throat> security cameras. They're actually quite useful. There's various types of security cameras. This one's an external one that you mount up uh, outside in the building. Battery powered, but if you do what I do, you get a solar panel to plug into this so that you no longer need to go up a ladder to get the battery out and recharge it. The battery lasts a few months anyway, but uh, why go to the hassle? And there's also indoor cameras these plug into the mains here's an example of an indoor camera okay as you can see i'm pretty much using ring products but other ones are available it's also got a security screen so you can make sure people know that they're not being watched okay personally i have i have these in the house but i only plug them in and turn them on when i'm going out when i'm going out and about a holiday things like that okay right so those are the various things you can do now again these will offer uh, high quality video with a lot of them, you can actually communicate both ways. These external ones, will set, you can set up a siren when something happens and things like that. And you'll be notified when somebody, something's happening, a car's driven up or somebody's walked past or something like that. And a lot of them have uh, floodlights for extra lighting to give you additional security. A bit like a PIR at the front door, really, but uh, that means that uh, the light will come on. They'll be captured in a uh, glowing Technicolor and hopefully would run off if necessary. Okay. And main thing is you have to use an external and outside because the indoor ones frankly aren't waterproof and weatherproof and things like that so I wouldn't necessarily do that the good news is they're really simple to install with these you put you you put the app on your phone tablet or computer or whatever plug it in connect this to your wi-fi and off you go and the, ex the external ones like this are pretty similar as well it doesn't take long to get them set up in fact they guide they guide you through it pretty well okay. now there are two advantages. One is that you can actually see who's what's happening either now or from recordings. What happens is when it detects motion, it will start making a recording until the motion's gone away. Let's have a look here at uh, my example. Here I am on the Ring website and I can see all the various cameras and what's going on at the moment. I can click to go live. And I can stop going live and I can go back to look at previous recordings where motion was detected. So I get a very good idea of what's going on. So really, really helpful. Okay. The other good thing is you can set up what they call routines. So, for example, when I'm away, if somebody presses my doorbell and it's night time, then 
a light will come on in the house to make it look as if it's occupied. It comes after a few seconds, then goes off after a couple of minutes. It's all about increasing security, increasing awareness of what's going on. It's equally possible to have something so that when it's motion detected, you can set off a siren or something like that. There's lots of alternatives around. So, smart doorbells, security cameras, really good, really cheap way of keeping yourself safe and your home safe. So, that's great. I've enjoyed making the video. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. If you have, then please do like it. Please do share it. And remember, if you want me to talk about any particular bit of technology in another video, just drop some thoughts in the comments below and we'll see what we can do for you. Okay, bye.